Hey guys, my name is Curtis with The Grass Store and today we're going to be talking about insect damage in your yard. What is it? How to know if it's insect damage or something else. So today you can see the spots in the yard, very random, no rhyme or reason for why they're there. We know we're watering, we know we don't have any problems, and we have areas like this that are starting to come up and get worse. So there's really two things that could be. It could be subsurface insects such as grubs, or it could be surface insects such as chinch bugs, webworms, stuff as stuff like that. Another telltale sign of insects, as you can see, the grass looks really, really good. As we pan around here, you can see the grass isn't growing right here. It's not as tall as the other grass. Hopefully you can see it on the screen. You can see it right here. It's not growing. Then you want to say to yourself, why is it doing that? Why is it not like my other grass? It's because something is chewing on it. Most likely, when it's something like this, it's usually a surface insect, chinch bug, webworm. Another good way to tell, walk real slow, drag your feet. Look and see if you see anything coming up out of the grass, things flying up, shouldn't see anything flying. That's always a telltale that you've got moss that are going to lay webworms something like that you can see this is more insect damage you know and the main thing is we know they're here we need to get them out we need to kill them they're going to keep chewing if we don't stop it and i'm going to take you up here to the yard next to this one and you can see where they've completely devoured it so you can see right here they went through this entire yard. Nothing was ever sprayed next door on this neighbor's yard. And they have killed it. This was all nice, pretty St. Augustine, and it is gone. So the next thing we're going to talk about is what to do. We know we have insects. What do we put down? Well, normally it's going to be a surface insect, like I was saying. So we are going to use an insecticide with the active ingredient, the fenthrin. All right, so right here we have the fenthrin active ingredient. You can see right there, active ingredient, the fenthrin. This is Bifen XTS. Anytime you're spraying your yard, you're gonna to wanna to use Bifen XTS. There's also another one called Bifen IP. That is typically used for mosquitoes. That is gonna be in lower concentrations. Um, so you definitely don't wanna use that. It's not gonna have the most bang for your buck. You wanna use the Bifen XTS. That's what's gonna kill them. So next, we're gonna start talking about mixing it, spraying it, and how to apply it. All right, so now we're ready to begin spraying. I've got a four gallon backpack sprayer. That is what I prefer. Um, this one has actually got a little motor on it to it so you don't have to uh, pump it up as you go along. You can see on my Bifen, it's got a little, a little window right here. I'm gonna put an ounce, okay? We're gonna do an ounce per gallon. This will say anywhere from like 0.64 to an ounce i find an ounce per gallon is really really good strength that's what we're going to do we're going to fill it up three different times we're going to pour it in there you can see i haven't poured in water yet we're going to wait till we put the water in all right so now i've got my insecticide in there we're going to go ahead and crank up our water hose and i'm going to fill this up with water i'm going to fill it up somewhat slow if not it's going to foam up on me so we're going to film fill it up it's going to mix it up if it starts getting really foamy i'm going to stop because i do want to get four gallons of all water we're not counting the foam i'm just going to kind of try to knock the bubbles in the foam as it's coming up i'm at three gallons right now i'm getting close i'm getting really close try to slow my water down so i'm foaming up really bad I've only got about three and a half gallons in it. I'm getting close, getting close. I don't know if you can see it on the side. And that's good enough. All right, so we got plenty of water. I'm going to go ahead and put my little screener, even though I didn't use it. There are a little bit of bubbles coming up. Try not to do that so it'll get all over you. Got our lid screwed on. Okay. 
And after I get it in there, the next thing I like to do is I like to take this, grab it like this, kind of upside down, which I know you can't really see it. Maybe you can see it now. Let's see. spraying all right so i've got my sprayer now like i said this is an electric one and you can see it's blowing back into me so i'm going to stop and i'm going to find out where i can spray it without it blowing all into me bison can be used anywhere this is what they use in your house for exterminating so don't be scared i'm going to put it all over my house i'm going to put it on my edges anywhere that might have a bug but basically this is i'm just going to kind of go along in the yard and i'm going to try to do a nice even spray i'm not going to get in a hurry you know i can already see things are jumping everywhere and it's not even late normally when you spray like this you want to try to wait till the sun's fixing to go down and the reason you do that your bugs are going to be the most active early in the morning and late at night late at night like this they're going to start coming out to feed when it starts cooling off just like when we want to go outside so you got a lot better chance of killing them and, you know not not that this won't kill them it, it's going to kill them but to be the most effective it's just better to spray it at night this is fine though we're going to do this now people a lot of people one big misconception is they spray this and they think they're done so bugs you're going to have moths say we have web worms those moths are going to come keep laying eggs we're not going to be able to kill the moth even if we spray it this this water is just going to float right off their back right off their wings they're going to keep coming in here and laying eggs so we're going to spray this if you had it really really bad this isn't super bad it's bad but it's not super bad if i had it really bad i'd spray it once a week for two or three weeks in a row till i felt like i had it under control but this is going to do a great job main thing is to remember do not turn your sprinklers on the next morning we're going to try to give this a little bit of time to work now after that i'm going to start running my sprinklers every day and i'm also going to fertilize and the reason i'm doing that is i want to get this grass to fill back in it's not going to fill back in on its own even in these trees like this go ahead and spray it okay anything that's in here is going to kill bison has 30 to 60 day residual that's all going to depend on how much you're watering your yard um I'm going to spray every 30 days as a preventative. A lot of people ask, well, when should I start spraying? Depends on what part of the country you're in. We're in Texas and Houston. I'm going to start spraying middle of May. I'm going to do it every 30 days. Some of your fertilizers will actually have bifenthrin in it. We sell some at our, at our storefront. We sell turf for a living. So we actually sell this. Um, people don't even realize that they're putting their insecticide out. Obviously, it's in a granular, though, with the fertilized. <clears throat> Why am I doing it like this with the liquid? I'm doing it like this because I know I have bugs, and this is doesn't have to be watered in. This is working right away. This is going to kill anything in 24 hours. It's going to kill them. If I used a granular, we're going to have to water that in. It's going to take three or four days, and they're just going to sit here and keep eating, keep chewing before I can get to them. So that's why I'm doing it like this. You always want to spray. I'm using the Four Suns, my Four Suns, bought it off of Amazon. Works really well. I don't like to pump. Um, you know, anything that can make this a little bit easier, uh, I think is worth it. If your yard is small, get you a little two gallon pumper, that's fine. Bigger, you can get you a four gallon backpack like I got. You know, this is really the way to do it though because this is stuff that should be done every year. Most people don't do it. That's why they get really, really bad insect problems sometimes. But doing it like this, it's not bad. I'm walking around, you know, but I'm not killing myself pumping. With the pumper, you're, you're gonna work. So this is, just makes it nice. Not the cheapest, cheapest thing I've ever bought, but it's by far the, by far the most convenient. But you can see right here where this grass is not growing. So I know they're really active in this. So I'm gonna really make sure I hit this really, really good. And we're gonna have some more videos. We're gonna talk about 
nutgrass and St. Augustine and Zoysias and Bermudas. And um, if you're worried about your grass, you can spray, these are insecticides, you can spray this on anything. It doesn't matter if you're in a warm season climate or if you're in a cool season with bluegrasses, stuff like that. This is an insecticide, it does not hurt your grass. You can spray it, you cannot overdo it. Obviously it's bad for the environment if you overdo it. it gets in our water streams and stuff. But as far as killing your grass, it's not gonna do anything. So don't be scared to spray it. But this is what we're doing. We're gonna spray the whole yard and it's gonna stop them. If I don't see it recover in a week or two, especially these spots that aren't growing, I'm gonna come spray it again. But this is gonna take care of it for the most part. Bifenthrin is the most most common insecticide. The reason the reason people use it is that it kills the most insects. So you have to really watch what you buy. You have some other ones like Permenthrin. Still a good insecticide, but it doesn't kill as wide a range of insects. So on something like this, I like to use the better stuff. That's the Fenthrin. Some people like Sayonara. That's a very popular one. It's fine, it'll work, better than nothing. But this is what you do. Like I said, this is for surface insects, not subsurface. So if you put this out and it didn't work, you know, you have to start thinking, well, why didn't it work? Uh, it could very well be grubs. I don't feel like I have a grub problem. This is gonna be definitely insects. I can see them flying around chewing. If you had a grub problem, you would put out Dilox. It's a granular put it out it'll kill them you have to really pay attention though and Dilox is what we use in the summer to kill them when they're big and they're in their fourth fifth instar stage on the grubs if you have um, if you go into some of these box stores this time of year they'll actually have another product that's more of a preventative and it won't do nothing and we see people do that a lot they go there they don't get Dilox they get their own stuff and they don't even realize it it shouldn't even be on the shelves, but it is. And it says it kills grubs, they buy it, and the grubs are too big, it doesn't do anything, and they just keep chewing on it. But if you see what I'm showing you right now, it's really a chewing insect. But this is what you do, I hope this helps somebody. Leave some comments, we're gonna do some more videos, and uh, hopefully get a little bit better at it. But any questions, leave it below, and subscribe it'd be pretty cool to see if anybody's interested in this kind of stuff and if they are this is what we do for a living we'll post some more videos and see if we can help somebody out or at least keep them from doing the wrong stuff but appreciate it my name is curtis with the grass store and see you next time